Magandang araw! Nandito na naman ako, si Grandma Kid, para turuan kayo ng mga Montessori-inspired activities for the home. Kung bago kayo sa channel ko, gumagawa ako ng mga videos para mapakita sa inyo na maraming bagay sa bahay ang pwede natin gamitin para maturuan natin ang mga bata, ma-develop nila ang kanilang foundational skills. Foundational skills na katulad ng concentration, order, coordination, and independence. Importante para sa future learning nila. Ang mga nakaraan videos ko ay ang plunking, pouring liquid, transferring tweezers, locks and keys, transferring beans with a spoon, cooking rice porridge, at cooking malunggay with corn soup. Please watch my other videos. I'm sure you and your child will enjoy them. Lahat ng videos na ginagawa ko ay tungkol sa mga activities galing sa Practical Life Curriculum. Ang Practical Life ay mga pang-araw-araw na gawain natin. Grandma Kid videos of Practical Life activities involve daily tasks in the home environment that provide the children the opportunity to experience how to fulfill life skills. Exercises that aim to develop the child's motor skills, gain independence, and concentration through repetition of the activities are important to gain mastery of their skills so that they will be able to adapt, work, and contribute well to the community. Ang video ngayon ay tungkol sa pag-aalaga ng aso. This activity is part of the Caring for the Environment category of the Practical Life Curriculum at ang tawag dito ay Caring for Animals. Pero bago natin pag-aralan ang pag-aalaga sa ating aso, ay may activity muna tayong gagawin na tungkol din sa kanila. Nowadays, it is ordinary for pet dogs to wear clothes, shoes, or socks. Maybe we can assign this responsibility to our child. He or she may choose the clothes or footwear for our pet. I prepared a short video that will also teach your young child about matching, visual discrimination, eye-hand coordination, and development of the fine motor skills.
Now that the children are at home, it is time to think of ways to make them busy and learn something new every day. Having a pet dog can be enjoyable and may teach your child to be responsible, independent, confident, and emphatic to all living things. Having a pet at home is a way wherein you can teach your child responsibility as long as the task is age appropriate and you as a parent will be there to guide them. Being responsible is an important life skill that should be developed while they are young. But always keep in mind that you should make every activity exciting because children learn better when they're having fun. These are the tasks that you can teach your child. Giving him the pet food and water every day and cleaning up. Dogs are like people. They need exercise to keep healthy and active. Make a routine of walking your dog every day. Show love and care. You can allow your child to bathe and groom his or her pet dog as long as it is supervised. Schedule the pet for checkups with the vet and allow your child to accompany his or her pet. This activity also helps a child gain self-esteem and self-confidence. Having a pet seems to boost a child's self-esteem and self-confidence because at times, children tend to make their pets their emotional support since pets show unconditional love to their owners. Having a pet gives families an opportunity to share in helping in activities based around the pet, leaving happy moments spent together as a family. Having a pet means that a child will be able to learn to be more caring and emphatic since the child must learn to know the needs of the pet like food, attention, and love. In this activity, children learn new words such as pet, caring, responsibility, living things, and non-living things. Dito sa video ng ito ay gagawin nating mas masaya sa bata ang pag-aalaga ng pet nila. We will teach the child through a story. Several researchers have revealed that storytelling helps the child learn because stories are easy to remember. Eto na ang ating kwento. Zachary's Summer Surprise Ang mga bida natin sa kwento ng ito ay si Zachary, Grandma, Dad, Mom, and Bruno. Zachary's kindergarten moving up ceremony was coming. He was so excited to move up to first grade next school year. He also thought of the fun things he would do for the summer activities that his parents usually planned for him. Sadly, Zachary's parents didn't plan any activity for the summer because they were so busy with their new vegetable farm. Too many orders were coming in that they would work until night time and would leave the house early in the morning. This would really help the family's finances, mom said. Don't worry, we can still think of activities for Zachary. He performed so well in school, so he deserves a reward, dad said. Zachary was still happy, even though that he would just hang around the house for the whole summer because his grandma would come and stay with them for the whole year. His grandma said that she would attend Zachary's moving up ceremony and would give him a big surprise gift. Moving up day came, Zachary, his parents, and his grandmother were overjoyed when he received his Best in Science award. When the event was done, they went home right away. Dad and Mom prepared a sumptuous dinner for the family. After finishing their dinner, the family gathered around the living room. 
Then Zachary's parents and grandmother gave him his gifts. Mom gave Zachary some nice clothes. Dad gave him a new puzzle to build. Zachary was so happy to receive his gifts and hugged his parents and said, Thank you, Mom and Dad. I love you so much. Then his grandmother slowly placed the big box on the floor and said, Happy moving up day, my grandson. I hope you like it. Zachary carefully opened the box but stopped for a while and said, The box is moving. What could be inside? When he finally opened the box, out came a small, energetic, and friendly dog jumping onto him and licking his face. He's a cute dog, Grandma. He seems so playful and keeps wagging his tail. But he looks so strong. I want to call him Bruno. Oh, thank you, Grandma. I promise to take good care of him this summer. Zachary rushed to hug his grandma. Mom and Dad thanked Grandma too, since Zachary had something to do for the summer. Grandma whispered, Don't worry, I'll teach him how to take care of his new pet. The next day, Grandma and Zachary woke up early. Grandma read a to-do list with some tasks for Zachary. Zachary, having a pet is a big responsibility, but I'm here to help you do some of these tasks. Let us go over the list I made. Give Bruno food and water, then clean up, but leave a container of water in case he gets thirsty. Let's take him out for walks at the park so we can all exercise. Show him love and care. Keep him groomed and clean. But you always have to remember that you have to wash your hands after cleaning up. Every day, Zachary did his chores diligently and was happy sharing this time with his grandma. Summer was over and Zachary learned so much. Mom and Dad observed that Zachary was more hardworking and compassionate not only towards animals but to people as well. He really took his summer activity seriously. He is now more responsible, independent, and emphatic to the needs of others. Ayan, tapos na ang aking kwento. Nagustuhan niyo ba to? Always remember that children learn better while they're having fun. So make your home activities enjoyable for you and your child. Ako po si Grandma Kid. Huwag niyo pong kalimutan mag-like, subscribe, and click that bell icon for new updates. Maraming salamat!